A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for the good, for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've preached about Fatima several times now since we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of Our Lady's appearance to the children in Portugal. And while conversion and prayer are certainly at the heart of Mary's message at Fatima, the miracles and unexplained phenomenon that accompanied the events 100 years ago they continue to intrigue believers and non-believers alike. The apparitions of Mary at Fatima in 1917 were not the first supernatural events reported there. In 1915, two years before, Mary appeared to the three shepherd children, Lucia, her cousins, Jacinta and Francisco. They saw a strange sight while praying the rosary in the field, according to the memoirs of Saint Lu Sister Lucia, who had become a Carmelite nun. And she wrote, we had hardly begun when there before our eyes, we saw a figure poised in the air above the trees. It looked like a statue made of snow, rendered almost transparent by the rays of the sun. The next year, Francisco and Jacinta and Lucia were in the field owned by their own families with their flock. It was 1916 and the mysterious figure that had appeared the year before appeared again, but this time approaching close enough to distinguish its features. Do not be afraid. I am the angel of peace. Pray with me. Saint Lucia recalled the angel saying, the three told no one about the angel's visit and received no more heavenly visits until May 13, 1917. Now, while the children were tending their sheep, they were startled by two flashes of lightning. And as they made their way down a slope, the children saw a lady all dressed in white standing on a small tree. It was the first of six apparitions of Mary, who gave a particular message and revelation each time. May 13, 1917, this was her first apparition. And when the children asked who she was and where she came from, the lady said that she was from heaven and that she would reveal her identity later. She, assisted the, she asked the children, to come back on the 13th day of the month for the next six months. And she asked them to pray the rosary every day in order to obtain peace for the world and the end of World War I. So on June 13th, 1917, when she came the second time, Our Lady said she would take Francisco and Jacinta to heaven soon while Lucia would remain on earth for some time longer to establish devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. On the second visit or apparition on June 13th, 1917, Our Lady said she would reveal her identity in October and perform a miracle for all to see and believe. After telling the children to make sacrifices for sinners, she revealed three secrets now, two of those secrets were not shared publicly until 1941, and the third secret, written down by Sister Lucia and sent to the Vatican, was not released until the year 2000. 
The first secret indeed involved a vision of hell in which the children saw a sea of fire with demons and human souls shrieking in pain and, and despair. In her memoir, Sister Lucia said people nearby who had begun gathering around the children on the 13th of the month heard her cry out during the frightening revelation. The second secret was that while World War I would come to an end and the worst would break out, a worse one would break out if people continued offending God. The children were told that calamity would be prevented if Russia were consecrated to the Immaculate Heart. The third and final secret, published 83 years after the Fatima apparitions, was of a bishop dressed in white, shot down amid the rubble of a ruined city. The Vatican's interpretation was that this referred to the persecutions of Christians in the 20th century and especially to the 1981 assassination attempt of the life of St. John Paul II. On August 13th, 1917, Our Lady again said she would perform a miracle in October and asked that any money collected from the pilgrims who were gathering would be used to build a chapel on the site of her apparition. On September 13th, 1917, Our Lady asked them to continue to pray the rosary to obtain an end to the war and she said that Jesus, St. Joseph, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and Our Lady of Sorrows would appear during the miracle in October. So on October 13, 1917, the final visit, despite the pouring of the rain, <coughs> over 70,000 people came to the spot to witness the long-awaited miracle. Our Lady identified herself as Our Lady of the Rosary and said that the war would end and that soldiers would return home. And after asking that people cease to offend God, she opened her hands, which reflected a light toward the sun. Sister Lucia recalled crying out, look at the sun. And as people looked on, the sun appeared to dance, spinning and changing colors. The children also saw the promised figures of Jesus, St. Joseph, and Mary. So what does this message of Our Lady of Fatima, considered in the widest sense, imply? It implies that the God of the Bible is a living God, a God who involves himself as an actor in human history. It shows that our God wants to save every one of us. And he shows a personal and providential care for all that he has made. Jesus expresses this truth beautifully in the Gospel of Matthew. Not a single sparrow can fall to the ground without your heavenly Father knowing it. Jesus tells us, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Trust God now.